polycystronic mRNA molecules formed in response to either promoter contain all the information required to synthesize the four galactose enzymes. So, किसी एक प्रमोटर की वजह से भी जो ट्रांसक्रिप्शन होगी और जो पॉलीसिस्ट्रॉनिक एमआरएनए बनेगा उसमें कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन होगी ये नहीं है कि अगर एक प्रमोटर से बन रहा है तो उसमें इनकंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन होगी बाइंडिंग सीएएमपी सीआरपी टू एक्टिवेटर साइट रिप्रेस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फ्रॉम पी2 बट एक्टिवेट्स ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फ्रॉम पी1 Moreover, P2 can support gel mRNA transcription in the presence of glucose when intracellular CAMP CRP levels are low, but P1 cannot do so. The fact that AS is 20 base pair closer to P1 in the gel operon then it is in the LAC operon uh, or promoter in the LAC operon leads one to predict that CAMP, CRP and RNA polymerase interactions should be different in the GAL and LAC operons. Chuke in me jo hai ye difference uh, aapne dekha के 20 बेस पेयर्स का जो है वो क्लोजर है P1 गैल ऑपरॉन के तो इसलिए इनमें जो है वो एक्सपेक्ट किया जाता है कि इनमें डिफरेंट होगा डिफरेंस होगा दिस प्रिडिक्शन इज करेक्ट प्रोमोटर्स लाइक P1 इन गैल ऑपरॉन दैट हैव AS at position minus 41.5 are called class 2 CAMP dependent promoter. Three activator regions on CRP that is AR1, AR2 and AR3 they interact with RNA polymerase holoenzyme. AR1 on the upstream unit of the CRP dimer and AR2 and AR3 on the downstream subunit of dimer interact with alpha CTD or C terminal domain alpha NTD alpha uh, jo hai N terminal domain and the sigma 70 subunit respectively. So, here you can see this is uh, polymerase holoenzyme or this is N-terminal domain alpha, this is CRP dimer and CRP dimer ke downstream ye AR1 hai, then this is AR2 and this is back side pe kahin pe AR3. So, this is uh, this is uh, the RNA polymerase holoenzyme. Why does the GAL operon has two promoters? The answer appears to be that galactose has two roles in the cellular metabolism. It is both a carbon source and a precursor for lipopolysaccharide synthesis. So, this is a carbon source ke ka, tor pe kaam kar rahe, energy provide karne ke liye. Dusra ye jo hai precursor hai lipopolysaccharide synthesis ke liye. When galactose is not available in the growth medium, cells require the epimerase specified by the GAL operon to convert glucose to galactose, which is then used to make lipopolysaccharides. Synthesis from the P2 promoter permits the low level of epimerase formation required to convert glucose to galactose 1-phosphate so that the lipopolysaccharide can be formed. If P1 were the only promoter, then epimerase could not be made when glucose is present because P1 requires CAMP, CRP 
activation on the other hand if p2 were the only promoter then galactose could not be fully induce the operon when galactose was the sole carbon source because camp crp inhibits p2 thus for the sake of both necessity and economy a camp crp independent promoter which is p2 is needed for background constitutive synthesis and a camp crp dependent promoter p1 is needed to regulate high level synthesis to isliye p1 aur p2 dono hi required hain furthermore the regulation is efficient only if p2 is inhibited by camp crp